What is going on linear algebra bros? In this video I'm going to help you find the cosine of the angle between these two vectors u and v under the weighted Euclidean inner product which is defined right here. Alright so in the previous video we saw that cosine theta is equal to the inner product of the two vectors divided by product of each of their norms. So in order to find the cosine of the angle between the vectors, we're going to need three ingredients. The first being the inner product, the second being the norm of u, and then the third thing being the norm of v. Alright, so let's do this as some scratch work over to the side. First thing is going to be the inner product of u with v. Do keep in mind that we're using the weighted Euclidean inner product, so this expression right here, which is more or less a formula, will allow us to find the inner product of these two vectors. So it's 2 times u1, so we'll do 2 times the first component of u, which is 2, times v1, so that's the first component of v, which is 4. Added to 5 times the second component of u, which is 1, times the second component of v, which is negative 1. And so what we're looking at here is 16 minus 5, which is 11. So let's replace that numerator over there with 11. And now we'll have to work on each of the uh, norms. So let's start with the norm of u. The norm of u is given by the square root of the inner product of u with itself. So let's work on the inner product of u with itself. It's going to be 2 times u1 times u1 plus 5 times u2 times u2. And all that goes underneath the square root. So we're looking at the square root of 13. Okay, so that will go as the first factor of the denominator. And now the second factor of the denominator, so we'll find the norm of the vector v. Okay, that's the inner product of v with itself, square rooted. So that's going to be 2 times v1, which is 4, times v1, plus 5 times v2, times v2. All that goes under the square root. So looking at 32 plus 5, in other words, the square root of 37. Oh, and I just barely made it in this space. <laughs> So the square root of 37. Okay, so this is the cosine of the angle theta. And this would be acceptable as one version of the answer. Of course, if you wanted to, you could combine the radicals that are in the denominator. So I'll say aka cosine theta equals 11 over the square root of 481. Now as a side note, we could approximate the angle between the two vectors under this weighted Euclidean inner product by taking the arc cosine of the fraction that's on the right hand side. Maybe let's use this version of it, 11 over square root of 4 times, I'm sorry, the square root of 41. And just to let you know, the uh, textbook, or, or the author in this section, uses radians, it appears, uh, to represent his angles. So I'm just going to punch this quickly into the calculator. And in terms of radians, perhaps rounding to two decimal places, we would be looking at 1.05 radians. Okay, so as for degrees, we would be looking at 59.9 degrees. Okay, so that's it for this example. 
If you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.